Welcome to the Zix TV. I am the Zix, and we're going to be checking out the Atari Flashback 9. Picked this up at uh, Family Dollar, a local dollar store, for $30. So uh, if you can pick one of these up really cheap like that, that is great. This is my first Atari Flashback console. The only other ones I have are the portables. Um, and we'll see why in, in a moment, in a few moments. Um, so let's say 110 built-in games, usually sell for $40. And uh, wire controllers, save and resume games. Rewind games. Powered from any standard USB device. Well, save and resume games and rewind games. So this this, this has got, I've, I've heard of uh, tool assisted gaming, otherwise known as TAS, T-A-S. Tool assisted, but this, this looks like this has the tools that you need to assist your gaming. And here is just some of the games that we will be having a look at here. Alright, let's check this puppy out. I carry these at Family Dollar, I think also Dollar General. But, uh, we have our instructions. No instructions to know how to play video games out of rock. Okay. Here's our console. What do we got? Power button, start button. It's not printed on there, it's kind of mold it it's embossed in it difficulty left right and select button and to connect to a TV and you'll need to provide your own where's the HDMI well I don't have HDMI but uh, an SD card slot. Where's the, uh... Well, anyway, this is how I'll be using it. You will need to have... Where did I put that? One of these. Where's the, uh... Okay. This part goes back here. Let's see. Maybe. If I don't drop it, yeah. Well, does it go there or not? Yeah. Now I can't get it out. And this is your, so you'll need one of these to plug your, to plug it in. I mean, if you're just going to plug it into your computer, why aren't you just using an emulator on your computer to begin with? Um, they give you one of these? Nope. So, yeah. Heard that we'd be needing one. This is from one of my, uh, Heard that we'd be needing one of these. This is from one of my portable gaming consoles that I've gotten over the years. And I got so many of these with the, the portable gaming consoles. Is this the one that I use for my uh, Atari Flashback Portable? I don't know, but we'll be using that. So 
So you got to get one of these. And our joystick has the standard Atari joystick. Menu button, select button, start button, and rewind. Okay. So if you're playing, rewind. Okay. So we got. How do I adjust the game level? Okay, we know how to do that with the select button. How do I save load a game state? Press down and select. Okay. To display the in-game menu. Move the joystick down to save or up to load the state. Okay. So hold down and press select. And you can save your game. How do I rewind the game? Press rewind to rewind gameplay by seven seconds. Move the joystick left or right to rewind or forward and move down to resume state. Alright. How do I go back to game menu? Press down and select. Press start to quit the game. SD card. And our list of games. All right. I'm going to hook this puppy up in the game room. Check it out. Here we are in the game room. And I got it sitting on top of my PS2 there. We got the Sega Genesis. And I don't have all that much room for game consoles. That's why I don't like to get these, but I'm making an exception in this case. And my TV's connectors to, to connect it to the TV I gotta pull the whole thing out turn it to the side to, to get to the back so that's a big nuisance anyway we got it hooked up plug this plug this puppy in and we'll see if it works alright we got it uh, hooked up here let's okay so your beginning screen is just something that says Atari so find more classics at Okay. At games. Alright. 3D tic tac toe. Adventure. Adventure 2. Air Sea Battle. That's a two player game. Oh, yeah. It comes with two joysticks. Amadar. What's that? Oh. Start button. Uh, 
my start button. Start. So you're a monkey trying to uh, fill in all the squares. What does the button do? It makes you temporarily invulnerable? Okay, well, I don't want to spend too much time. Makes you temporarily invulnerable. Okay. Aqua Venture. Asteroids. Which one's the start button? Okay. Start. I'm the start button. Okay, Asteroids. Oh, Asteroids Deluxe. Which one's my start button? Still getting used to it. Pick up the dot. Ah. Ah, okay. Where's 
to that. Oh, it's all the way over there. Uh, walls. Don't get hit by the walls. Don't get hit by the wall. Oh, it moved. Hey, that's not fair. this guy up. Oh. I don't think our dashing hero is going to have a chance here. Ah. Okay. Backgammon. Basketball. Beam Rider. That's a good one. Blackjack. Bowling. Breakout, Cannonball, Canyon Bomber, Centipede, Championship Soccer, Chopper Command. Oh, I gotta play me some chop Chopper Command. Alright, uh, which one start? Uh, this one here. Uh. Sorry, combat, combat two. Well, you need two players to play that. Cosmic commuter, crack pots, crystal castles, decathlon, demons to diamonds, desert falcon, dodge em. double dunk, dragster. Oh, and these sword quest games. So you gotta have those. I hate those games. Enduro. Yeah, that's a good one. Fatal Run. Okay. Which one is... Oh, 
I'm driving a car. Okay, push up. What's this, uh, what's the button do? It shoots them. Maybe they blow up from running into me. What's that? Okay, so it's a driving game. We'll let him go. Ow! Okay. Fire World! Fishing Derby, Flag Capture, Football, Frog Pond. Frogger! This is an Atari 2600 Frogger. Is it? Huh. Oh, they fell down. Oop, I was too close. is trying to get in. Alright, well, that's not, that doesn't look like 2600 Frogger. Maybe it's some other front line. Frostbite, fun with numbers, golf. Gravitar, one of my favorites. Let's see how they do. Now, to play this game, you need to, uh, Select game option five. Start. this cave. Pick up the fuel. Oh, he got me. Seems to play pretty good. If you play it, let's see, how do I exit? Mm. Game option 4 gives you like 100 extra lives. You got gravity, you're being pulled towards the sun. And now I'm being pulled towards the bottom. makes it so much harder. See, I'm going to crash.
and you collect the purple things for fuel which you're gonna need because you're always falling down and you're gonna crash oh I'm gonna crash go left a bit up and up now we're being pulled towards the sun uh, now we're on this planet being pulled towards the bottom okay well that's enough of this game you get the idea so check out game option 5 which takes the gravity away and then you're like uh, floating out in space like an asteroid and you got time to think about what to do instead of being pulled towards the surface all the time those things? Are they shooting at me? Okay. Oh, whoa, I'm at the top. Okay, I gotta... Okay, I can go all the way around. works pretty good. It's pretty cool. So they come out like in Galaga, do their formation, then go to the middle. Huh. Oh, and then these blue things show up. time here. Uh, my camera can only record like 23 minutes at a time so I'm going to uh, be right back. Alright here we are. Hangman. Haunted House. Haunted House 2. Hero. Home Run. Indy 500. Jungle Hunt. Kaboom. Keystone Capers. <laughs> I remember that one. Maze Craze. Mega Mania. Millipede. Miniature Golf. Missile Command. Moto Rodeo. What's that? Um, okay. Hmm. Hmm. 
Okay. Night driver, I know what that is. Off the wall. centipede at the top. Oh, I died. Okay. What was that? Off the wall. Oink. I know what that is. Outlaw. Pitfall. Here, let's try the uh, rewind function. Oh no, I fell down. There gonna be a piece of treasure or something? Yeah, travel a long way. Money bag, all right. Polaris, what's this? Okay. Sock. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. Pressure cooker. Radar lock. River raid. Real sports. Baseball. Basketball. Soccer. Volleyball. Saboteur. Save Mary. Out of the way, Mary. Hmm. <laughs> We're supposed to save Mary, not crush her with concrete blocks. So it doesn't have to be like perfect. She'll jump between them. Alright, all right. we can do that. Okay, jump, Mary. Oh, I dropped it. Okay, well, that's alright. Get this one. Drop it when she's not there. to be exact. It's not working. Hmm. It's right over here. Well, what is going on here? supposed to save Mary here. get any higher. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I have to read the instructions. <laughs> okay. 
Sequest. Secret Quest. That's a that's a hard game. Skydiver slot machine. Slot racer. Solaris Space Invaders. Well this doesn't look like Atari 2600 Space Invaders. Space War, Sprint Master, Stampede, Starship. Ah, this is one of my favorite games. After uh, after playing Gravatar and other intense games. Like to just relax and shoot stuff. If they get too close, they'll crash into you. But there's no penalty for it. You just keep on going. You get to shoot more spaceships and stuff. Avoid those asteroids or whatever they are. Meteors. the game. After playing like Gravatar which is really intense, Star Master which is really intense, I like to just relax, shoot stuff. But speaking of Star Master, there it is. How are we going to work this? A second button. Well, 
Wait, I don't want to rewind. I pressed that button by mistake. Press one of the console buttons. I don't know how to play. I need a second button. Oh well. I'll figure it out sometime. You need a second button, uh, and you had to use the um, uh, second joystick or something. Yeah, because you need a second button to access the the map and move yourself to a place. Steeplechase, Street Racer, Submarine Commander, Super Baseball, Super Breakout, Super Football. Surround, Tempest, Dragonfield. One of my favorites, Tutankham. This is one of my favorites. Okay. Get the key, shoot the scorpion, go through the opening. A vulture. Collect the treasures. Oh, what did I do? I pressed the wrong button. You can't shoot up or down. Oh, I'm just pressing the rewind button. Oh, 
I'm gonna have to uh, I'll be right back all right now I was pressing the rewind button Again. Well, I'll, I'll have to investigate that. Why does pressing the rewind button exit from the game? Video checkers, video chest, video pinball, warlords, waterworld, wizard, Yars Return, and everyone's favorite Yars Revenge. Now, does my SD card work from my um, uh, Atari flashback portable I got it plugged in there let's find out it does alright can I play Pac-Man So, what you do is you get you get an SD card and you go to uh, AtariAge.com. They'll give you instructions on how to get all these games for um, I, I, that you can put on your SD card. Um, I'll, I I did. I already, I've already uh, talked about this in, in the uh, Atari Flashback Portable review. I'll just put a link in the in the description so that you can uh, go to Atari Age. All the instructions are there. You need to uh, format the SD card in a specific way, and then you, they have a download with all the games. I took my favorites and just just put them. Uh, on this SD card here. So we got Miss Pac-Man. And there's Miss Pac-Man. And then someone at... Uh, well, someone at, at Atari Age did Miss Pac-Man with a black background.
each time we're going to select the SD, SD card again. Junior Pac-Man, Tutankham. Tutankham has some graphical issues on the, it's, it's not perfect. That's why I was interested in this one, because it, they fixed the problems with it. And you get access to a whole bunch of homebrews like Gauntlet. bunch of games that I put on there, Donkey Kong, Vanguard, Venture, those are pretty good. And another adventure. This one's really good. It's based on adventure. And in games 3, 4, and 5, the bat will bring dragons back to life. And he starts out stealing your sword. You gonna come back? Try again. Hmm. Mm hmm. It's got a nice castle. And a volcano. There's a dragon. Two dragons. What is that? Well, the graphics are pretty good. Dragon! Dragon!
feeling that bat's gonna come along. So you get to check out all these games and more. Including some Star Wars games. a look at the Atari Flashback 9 console that you plug into your TV. Pretty cool. I'll see if I can do some vids of me playing my favorite games. And uh, we'll play another adventure. It's a, it's a homebrew game made by someone at Atari age who improved the graphics of the original adventure added the volcano and ice castle and a bunch of other stuff so pretty cool uh the atari flashback nine pre pretty good so uh it does work with the uh the sd card from from the atari flashback portable Uh, you won't be able to get all of the games. Some of them don't work. Uh, so, you might want to check at atariage.com. See if they've been able to adapt the games to be able to play on this. And that'll be it for this. Uh, this went a lot longer than, than I... Uh, expected than I was expecting but we had a look at quite a few games and that is the Atari Flashback 9 home game console with the rewind feature and you can save your game save your game in progress so that would be helpful playing like Pitfall 2 or something like that and that'll be it for this for this video. Thank you for watching.